I welcome you all with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessings of creator of the universe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. Myself, Dr. Amr Sheikh, PhD, DSC, Doctor of Science, Head of Chemistry Department, Maharashtra College, Mumbai University, President Islamic Vision Research Center. Today I will share with you mountains. As we know, earth is made up of layers. The upper layer which is running 100 kilometers is a solid earth crust, whereas the lower layer is mantle, which is highly viscous. The rocks in the upper mantle, that is said to be cool and brittle, and the lower part is soft and hot, but not molten. The rocks in the upper mantle, they break under stress and cause earthquakes. Generally, earthquake is the sudden, earthquake is due to the sudden movement of earth tectonic plates. These plates, they buckle together, they undergo subduction due to collision, they ride on one another and result in the formation of mountain at the boundary of plates. According to the doctrine of isostasy, these mountains, they float on the highly viscous mantle. It is not like a wood with a nail which floats on water. It is noticed by scientists that the mountain as much as looking on the earth's surface, five to six times it is projected beneath the molten, that is said to be molten mass of the mantle, it is noticed that by it is noticed by scientists that the mountains, as much you see on the surface of the earth, five to six times it is projected deeper inside the viscous mantle. And it is not like a wood with the nail floating on water. Scientists say that as the doctrine of isostasy, mountains float on the highly viscous mantle, but at the same time there is isostasy force, there is isostatic equilibrium. Due to that isostatic force and isostatic equilibrium, mountains are stabilized. The large mountains like Himalaya, they have a keel, they have a root which stabilizes the earth crust. It is noticed that Frank Press in his book Earth, Turbuk in his book Earth Science, and Truman in the Strange World, and John Prato's research paper to Royal Society, having the observation of Sir George Airy, that the mountains have root, they stabilize the earth from oscillation as well as swing. It means that these mountains stabilize the earth crust from swaying away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring in the glorious Quran. In 7th century, 1400 years before, chapter number 21, Surah Ambiya, verse number 31. وَجَعَلْنَا فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَنْ تَمِدَ بِهِمْ And we have put mountains in the earth as anchors so that it does not oscillate, it does not sway away with them. Chapter number 16, Surah Nail, verse number 15. وَأَلْكَ فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَنْ تَمِدَ بِكُمْ We have put mountains as anchors in the earth so that it does not oscillate and sway away with you. Allah says in the glorious Quran, chapter 79, Surah Nasiyat, verse number 32. Wal, wal jibal arsaha. Allah is declaring, wal jibal arsaha. And we have put firm mountains in the earth. It shows that in 7th century, 1400 years before, glorious Quran is talking about the stabilization of earth through mountains. There is a hadith of beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam as reported by Hazrat Anas peace be upon him. He said, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said that when Allah created 
the earth it started shaking allah put from mountains in there to stabilize it it means that the glorious quran and ahadith they are in excellent coherence with the modern phenomenon of mountain and earth that is the geology today we will today we see there are different color of mountains if we look in china in the geological park spread in 200 square miles there are colored mountains unesco in 2009 gave it a world heritage site regarding these colored mountains allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about 1400 years before in 7th century and we have put mountains streaks of white and red and of varying color and some of them are raven black it shows that whatever people are finding out today it is already given in the glorious quran in 7th century 1400 years before allah says in the glorious quran chapter number 78 surah naba verse number 6 and 7 alam najalil ard mihada wal jibal autada and we have met earth as a bed and mountains as stakes assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh